Disclaimer, this does talk about the reproduction habits of crickets. The Royal Society of Comics presents Survival of the Sneakiest. Ah, the moon, stars, a gentle breeze, chirping crickets, love is in the air, Wanda. It's the perfect night for lessons in the mating habits of crickets and natural selection. And Wanda's like, ah, oh, I'll wait in the car. Natural selection. We've all heard it explained as survival of the fittest, the strongest, and the fastest win. If you're too weak or slow, well, too bad, right? Well, not quite. Let's start with a single male cricket. Our guy is a big, healthy specimen, strong, confident, and looking for love. What female wouldn't want a piece of this, he says? Me, 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 cough. A one and a two. Hello, ladies. Not far away, a female cricket likes what she hears. As he's singing, oh, my exoskeleton is so glossy. I'm parasite free. She's like, oh, my. That's one hunk of hunk of burning cricket. Just the kind of male I want to fertilize my eggs. So she heads off toward the collar, following the sound. Meanwhile, in a burrow nearby. In the background, we can hear the original cricket singing, Oh girl, you make my antenna tremble. Together, we can make extremely fit offspring. And in the burrow, our intercepting cricket says, Will you listen to this blowhard? I mean, I want to mate as much as the next guy cricket. But you don't hear me announcing it to the whole meadow. Actually, that gives me an idea. This silent or sneaker male cricket moves to intercept the approaching female. Pant, pant, oh hi, I, I like your song. And he's like, oh yeah, I'm the one who's parasite free and all that. <laughs> My song. Shh, you had me with the song. Now less talking and more me. The sneaker male's gambit pays off. And the original strong, loud, calling male is out of luck. He's still singing, last chance for you special ladies to, uh, meet a really great guy. Ah, oh, forget it. In fact, he has attracted some unwanted attention. Oh. I'm almost there. <laughs> Keep chirping, you big juicy bozo. And he says, beeps, don't fail me now. So in this case, the sneaker male gets the mate, and the singing attractive male gets, well, eaten by a bat. <laughs> See, survival of the fittest isn't necessarily about being the toughest, fastest, or most attractive. It's really about surviving to pass the genes that encode traits and behaviors onto offspring. Maybe our sneaker male's kids will inherit the sneaky genes, and in turn, use sneaky behavior like their father. The first offspring says, why waste our energy singing when someone else will do it for us? I'm no chump, says the second one. And the third one just laughs. Hee <laughs> hee. Of course, toughness can help too increase an organism's chance of living long enough to reproduce. We notice a really large cricket with big muscles who roars at the bat and the bat just retreats. But reprodu reproduction and the passing on of genes are most important in terms of evolution. And there are many ways that an individual can get their genes into the next generation. Calling is still a good strategy for male crickets to increase their chance of mating. Females are attracted to calling males, and there won't always be sneakers or predators around to derail the callers. And if they all used the silent sneaker strategy, then no females would be attracted at all, and the males would have some long, lonely nights. Come on, someone start calling. Why don't you? Nah, well, me either. Fine, fine, grr. So we end up with a variety of successful mating strategies. That's how natural selection works. There is no one true ultimate survival strategy. A successful strategy is whether whatever gets the job done. Chirp, chirp. This chirping, it's really beautiful. 
Wanda would like it. What? Wait, where did she go? Chirp, chirp. Oops. Crunch. What? Extra oh. cricket. Crickets don't actually sing with their voices, like birds or people. The male cricket's song is made by scraping one wing across another, sort of like a violin bow scraping across the string. Crickets chirp more often if it's hotter. In fact, it is possible to estimate the temperature based on the frequency of cricket chirps. How about this heat? Wow, I, 